To be successful in Illustrator, you have to understand a few basic things about the way it works. Unlike Photoshop, where images are made of pixels, in Illustrator, everything's made of shapes. So underneath all that pretty artwork, you can see the outlines that define each and every piece. It's almost like a skeletal system for your artwork. The shapes themselves are made of two things, points. In this case, the shape has four points. And between the points, we see these line segments known as paths. This is the secret sauce, the magic that makes vector art scalable. Because these shapes are defined with math instead of pixels, they can be scaled up, down, and back again infinitely, and they'll never lose quality, staying sharp as a tack at any size. These points come in basically two styles. There's corner points, like what we see here creating this rectangle, and smooth points, like what you see here in this circle. Smooth points come with these things called control handles. They shape the path as it extends from one point to the next. The control handles work in pairs, and each point has two control handles, one on each side. And each path segment is directed by a pair of control handles, one from each of the points on either side of the segment. Shapes can be closed like this circle, or they can be open like this line. Shapes can have a stroke, which is like an outline. They can have a fill, or they can have both a stroke and a fill. And honestly, they can even have multiple strokes and multiple fills all at the same time. So now that you know that shapes are made of points and paths, and that they can have strokes and or fills, Let's talk about what I think is the most crucial thing to understand about Illustrator. And for me, this was the hardest thing for me to wrap my head around. And that is that Illustrator is less about drawing and more about building with shapes. So unlike drawing with pencil and paper or even in other apps like Procreate, in Illustrator, you build your designs, starting from the most fundamental shapes. And once you can wrap your head around this, the rest is gonna be easy. Here's an example. Imagine two circles. We can combine these circles in a number of different ways. For example, the blue one could be used to carve out from the yellow one, or the yellow one could be used to carve out the blue one, or we could merge them into a single shape, or they could meet in the middle and break each other into separate pieces, including a third piece formed by the areas where they overlapped, or they could simply meet in the middle to create an entirely new shape. That's the foundation of all of Illustrator artwork. It's just shapes made of points and paths. So in this course, we'll walk through the process of building this wall clock using basic shapes. And along the way, we'll explore different ways to manipulate basic shapes into something that's anything but basic. And in the end, I think you'll be surprised not only by how it all works, but also by how easy it can actually be.